that you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are having a happy new year. So today I decided that I was going to do a plan, prep, and create video for you guys. We are starting back to school tomorrow, so I am really cutting everything really close to our start date. Um, yesterday I did a first quarter clean out video. If you guys haven't already checked that out, I will leave the link down below in the description box for you guys. And so today my plans are to fill out the planner for my daughter's upcoming school week. I have to get my son things organized and pulled for this coming up school week. I do have to pull out some books and supplements that we're going to be adding to our carts that we are going to be working through this quarter. Um, I have to refill up our science project little container back there. Um, what else? I wanted to share a couple new books that I got. I'm not going to do a haul because I don't have enough for a haul and I don't plan on really buying anything in the next few weeks. So um, I wanted to share that with you guys as well. And then I may go through some baskets that I have or trays that I need to like put things away and figure out what I need to do with them. But that's basically, I think, my plans for this plan prep and create. I hope that you guys stick around, hang out with me for a while today, grab yourself something to drink, get cozy. You guys, if there's something to know about me, I'm always cold, so I'm always wearing sweaters or long sleeves or slippers and socks, so I'm pretty cozy today. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into this. All right, you guys, so first up on our to-do is the science kits. I have everything already separated out in this box. I did it at the beginning of the school year. Um, I also have our little list on what we need just to make sure that we have everything. There are some things that we're gonna have to purchase, um, food items and stuff like that, that I wasn't able to obviously pack up. So first, I'm just gonna pull all the items out that we're going to be using. If you didn't watch my video on organizing our science um, supplies for our activities, what I did is I went off of this list and I purchased pretty much the things that we needed that were on the list. And then I separated them into bags with the lesson numbers. And on the items that needed more than one item, I printed out this sheet and then I just cut it and I taped it and then the things that are highlighted are things that we're going to need the day of. Things that I underlined with red are things that are in their little miscellaneous bags like this. So this has like things that they'll need throughout. Um, so they'll pull like colored pencils or their glue stick from that miscellaneous bag. But everything else is labeled for them according to the lesson. So that's how I did it to make it easier for us. And then what I did was this drawer is for the teacher, this drawer is for Tally, this drawer is for Ari. So everything is organized for them. When they need it, they just go and they pull their bag of the lesson that they need. And that's it, you guys. It made it so easy and convenient first quarter. Um, so I will definitely be doing this if I can. So I'm just gonna set this back on the floor over here and they'll be able to pull when they need it. That's always nice. So we have one thing done already. So that's filling the container. Now we are going to, let's see here. I wanna pull the new studies out of my crate that I have and then we'll put it in the carts where they're needed. All right, you guys, so the next thing I need to do is I am going to be pulling our upcoming studies from this crate. This is where I put everything that we'll be using in the upcoming months. Um, we have all of our highlights, our upcoming studies that we have, our unit studies. She has her workbooks in here. They're the pages to all of her subjects that she uses. She has one for each quarter. Um, so she's on the second one now. And let's see, we have science units in here. We have their kitchen stuff for cooking that we I don't know when we're ever going to get back to that, but I would like to. Um, so I'm going to pull out what we need from here. So we'll be working through Ellis Island this quarter. And um, 
We'll be working through George Washington Carver. And then we're actually gonna be doing the safety through the good and the beautiful. I was going to make a unit this for this quarter on one of our like food, what you eat, um, healthy eating, stuff like that. I just did not get around to doing the supplement. So we're gonna use this second quarter and hopefully we'll jump into that third quarter. You know, with Christmas and everything, I just didn't wanna spend my whole Christmas break working. You know, I wanted to be with the kids. And um, so that was an executive decision, you guys. I'm done with this. This can be moved back out into the garage. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. So this actually goes with Tally's stuff. Mary, it's falling off. Um, Tally's geography's there. This is mine. I already have Tally's science. No. Oh no, my sister took the, the, the health. She's gonna be organizing the binder for me. I didn't get a chance to do that. So we already have our ecosystem binder ready to go. These are each lesson already cut and separated. Oh, that reminds me, I have to grab her her notebook to go along with that. So this is going to be Tally's new science notebook that she'll be using with her science book here or her binder. I wanted to mention, so this is our first year ever using the good and the beautiful. And when my sister did um, the science with them, we just literally, you guys, had them notebook everything. So all of their studies are basically glued into this notebook and we kept everything in here, which is nice because we didn't have like papers floating around or anything like that. So this was super helpful. That's what we're gonna be doing. I don't even know, I know you need a science journal to go along with the good and the beautiful but i don't know if you're supposed to put everything in there let me let me know you guys i have no idea it's not my subject that i'm teaching so i'm kind of just rolling with it and my sister was like i'm just gonna have them glue everything in there i'm like that's cool they'll keep everything together so um okay so uh george washington carver isn't going to be for a little while so i'm gonna put that in my cart and then ellis island is actually this this week because it's gonna be Ellis Island and then next week is gonna be Titanic. I have to finish that. I have a unit that I'm working on um, with questions and like things to go along with it in like one of these. And then I know George Washington Carver is this quarter but I'm not sure when. And we have like the Wright Brothers. I don't remember what else but I gotta get a move on it you guys. I'm so behind in stuff. Um, so I'll go ahead and put this in mine. This Ellis Island is Tally's and I bound it on the top because I found it's easier for her and the girls when it's bound on the top when they're writing. So this is gonna go with her history section in her cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my cart. thing I wanted to do is this is the book I'm working through for health so this is going to now be pushed to third quarter instead of second this is my thing that I use to write it up with this is something that I'm going to be reading my daughter at night this is going to be like before bed I'm going to read this to her it's called creative God colorful us it looks like a really great book. So I'm gonna read that to her at night. I'm actually starting that tonight. Oh, this is Juliana's discs that finally got sent to her. This goes with that, I have to do that. That's Bible. Okay, so that's it. This has to go into my room. This goes at Juliana's, I'll do that after. So I wanted to share with you guys, my daughter and my nieces love using this colored paper for some of their writings. Um, what else do they do? Their verses, certain tests, spelling lists, things like that on these colored papers. But then I find like floating papers and sometimes they forget to write what lesson it is, what subject it is. I mean, I could usually figure it out, but it just makes it so much harder when I'm correcting. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in dividers and do one specifically for writing, one for spelling, one, what other, she does language on this as well. That's the one I think that's the most tricky because it goes back and forth in her language workbook or pages, workbook pages. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and label these, put them in here, and I'm gonna have her keep them in here, not to put them in the tray. And when it's time to correct, I'm just gonna grab this binder and correct it like that. And then I'll take the pages out and put them in the garage in her box that I save all of her, um, you know, her work that she's done throughout the year. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I should have asked my sister if she wanted me to do that for her as well, but I forgot to. So I'm going to skip every other one because then they could be used in another binder. This I'll take down to my bedroom tonight, or when I go, when I'm done filming, I'll take that to my room. Um, go through trays. I think that that stuff just has to go to their boxes. So, I need a sip of my coffee. Real quick, so three books that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I wanna say it's been probably about a month, maybe a little bit over. I forgot that I had them. I had placed them in my cart to share with you guys and then I totally forgot I had them. But um, there's three books. This one is Diversity Is, We Have Empathy Is, and Bullying Is. So I thought that these would be really good to read to the kids. Um, now it does say that there's a set of four of them and the only one that I'm missing is Belonging Is. But I did look through the Diversity Is one and it looks it looks appropriate. It looks really good. So I'm super excited to read these to the kids. I honestly don't know when I'm fitting it in, you guys. I have so much going on, but I will. Where is my fruit of the spirit? It just made me think about the fruit of the spirit book that I got because I'm going to start including that on our Friday morning baskets with our Fruit of the Spirit cards that I created. And I don't know what I did with it. Maybe I should write that. I'm gonna write that on my list because you guys, I will totally forget and then I'll be stressed out looking for it. Um, so find fruit book. I'll know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. So that's added. Okay, so those three were from the Dollar Tree. The next book is, my sister picked this up. She was out of town in Texas. She wanted to grab it. This is Uncover a Shark. It's really cool. So it shows the inside of the shark, the anatomy of it. And then on the back, it just shows the actual skin part of the shark. But as you open the book and go through it, this is the skeletal system. So you'll see all of the skeletons here and you go over each part and what it does. And then as you flip the page, it pulls pieces like back from the inside of the shark. So for instance, this is the cardiopulmonary system. So it shows all of the parts that go with that. And then it goes into the reproductive system and you can see, so I'm gonna pull a few back towards the end. So this part is the muscular um, system. So it's pretty cool because as you pull the pieces back, or the pages, as you turn the pages, they stay on this side, but then it kind of opens up a whole new um, system, part of the body that you can go over with your kiddo. So she thought that this one would be really good for that, so she picked it up. I think it's really cool. Okay, so the last thing is, um, I did a first quarter catch up with you guys on our curriculums, what was working, what's not. And so we use the good and the beautiful units for science and we're having a hard time really enjoying it because we felt like there was so much missing. 
or just not a lot of instruction or information on what the kids were learning. Yes, babe. So we had a delivery from the Good and the Beautiful after I did the video and I, I actually just posted it, but um, we couldn't wait because we're starting on Monday, but I did see a lot of you guys respond to my question of if the supplemental books actually help out give you more information on the things that you're learning because when we did kingdoms and classifications, I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of information. There was enough, but I don't feel like there was a lot. Um, you guys can check out that video if you haven't already. I'll leave it down in my description. It's the first quarter catch up. Um, and I just talked about all the curriculum we're using. So anyways, so we went ahead, went online and purchased the different readers for the upcoming, I think we did the two. We didn't do mammals yet, but we did the marine biology one, so what that one came with was this dive, explore coral reefs around the world. So we have this one. And then we also have dangerous sea creatures. So breaks down some of the different sea creatures. Now with that being said, I will still be using some of our supplemental books. We have a whole lot of them on oceans. We have a whole lot of them on ecosystems, mammals. So we'll definitely be adding things into our units anyways. But my sister just wanted to try to get these just in case they helped. Even if they kind of give a little bit of information, she thought it'd be better than none. Um, so we have three sets of those, one for my sister to read and then one set for each of the kids so they can all be reading together. And then we went ahead and picked up the ecosystem set because this is what we're going to be working through this quarter. And this is in your back ecosystems in your backyard. And then we have elf owl and his ecosystem. Okay, so we have three sets of those as well. Now that I'm talking about that, I actually need to put these in their carts. I'll put stickers on them. So we do like a color coding sticker on each one of the books just so that the kids know which ones are theirs. And, um, and then I'll stick them in their carts for them. So that I do have to do. I'm not gonna add that to the list, guys. We're just gonna do that right now. But that's it, that's all I have to share. I said it wasn't that much, but I thought that I should share with you guys. At least I know where my stickers are now because I organized that cubby with you guys. <laughs> uh oh, you guys are crooked. You guys are, there you go. I think that's better. Is that better? Okay. So I'm just gonna open these up if I can. I always have a hard time. I think I'm so cold, you guys. It's making my rings big. So they're like falling off, they're spinning, but whenever I get cold, my fingers seem to shrink. Does that happen to you guys? Weird, but true. <laughs> I don't know. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Because without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high so this is what we're going to be reading together as a group for history when we do immigrants. This is the book that we work through with the workbook that I created. That's where the answers are is in this. And then this is going to be a read aloud that I do with the girls. So, there's that. I can't get close enough somehow. And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I 
I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody else. No one will ever Went take me. The tray. So all I have to do is the plan um, out the week for Tally and Isaiah. So we'll start with Isaiah. What would I do without you. Without you. You can take me high. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high. Feels like I can fly. Take me high when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. So, the last thing on my list is just Tally, so I have to plan out her week. I'm hoping it's not too difficult and I can remember like where we're at and what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> it's been over a month, you guys, so wish me luck. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling out all of her stuff and get started with that. Sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars 